Righto, I'm Dave Austin. Let's talk Mulloway. Chasing Mulloway on the beach, a lot of guys have been coming up to me and they seem to be convinced that live bait is the best option for fishing a beach. It's not always the case. Uh, just for example, I like to use uh, squids, one of the best baits you can use. And if you need to catch them, make sure you check out my eggy head jigs. But, but just a tip if you're gonna be using the other baits, using a live yellow tail on the beach, I've never seen a yellow tail swimming on the beach. Well, I've never caught one and I've never seen one. Um, because jewfish basically, when they're swimming through an area across into the surf, what they're actually doing is sometimes I'll be hunting, and yes, yeah, so maybe a, a live whiting might be a better option if it's of legal size. A live tailor, but you're gonna have problems casting that out, so you have to work that out. But um, you've gotta make sure that you're sort of matching the hatch in that aspect. But the other way that Mulloway tend to feed on the beach is foraging, meaning that they're going through the sand picking, picking stuff up. And that's why sometimes you get them on beach worms, and that's when they're usually foraging. And sometimes a live bait isn't any good because that's not what they're focused on feeding on. So in those circumstances, that's where you want to get your fillet baits. Your, you know, you basically, you get your fillets or you cut, cut off the heads. I love using a tailor head or a yellow tail head, yellow tail fillets. Um, it's a great alternative to squid if squid are hard to come by. So I'm Dave Austin and that's my tip for chasing Mulloway on the beach.